Hello Cancer, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so we are actually are ready to do your May reading, May 2020. Let's see, we will be using this time the horoscope spread. I do use a few spreads here and I know some of my, my subscribers like this, some of others like the other spreads. Please take what resonates and uh, if this does not resonate with you, just check another reading or another channel. All right, so let's see. What does Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus need to know? We will be covering a few areas of your life. Also, if you would like to purchase a personal or an extended reading, please see in the description box below. All right, Cancer, May 2020. What is going on? What are the messages here for Cancer? for May 2020. What does Cancer need to know, please? Oh, Six of Cups, Sun in Scorpio, a past connection. One more and we will start. We have the Justice cards and the Three of Swords. Ooh. So I feel like that's kind of a um, separation legal separation for some of you here we will see what is going on nine of cups a wish fulfillment and nine of pentacles i i feel like i think i had the same kind of reading for aries but i feel like some of you are going on your own here and I, i'm getting a lot of this theme uh, of self-independence some some people here realizing that it's time to move on in a new direction. Justice though, I, I really like justice. It's very objective in a way, it, it does not take sides. What you have been putting in, that's what you're getting in. Also, I feel like it's this energy of uh, karmic debts, how two people balance one another. In here, I love this card because it is coming with that yin and yang. Uh, it's something that is meant to be always uh, with the justice. Things will balance out, universe kind of has your back here and has that uh, knowledge of what things should be so we will see what is this for some of you as i mentioned it can be regarding a legal matter a separation okay so the first house is going to be you how are you going to be seen here again the first house it's your identity is what people see you it's the first mask here to the world it's also again how confident you are going to be seen oh okay so we're starting with the lovers look at this energy here it's all about a big decision here, Cancer, for May 2020. You may be connecting, Gemini energy for some of you, you may be connecting here with another person. Because it is influencing your identity, you are connecting with this other, again, that yin and yang, that twin flame connection, that other part of you is influencing who you are you want to be seen again a major decision with the lovers and it's coming it's coming right at the first house here it's going to be all about the love and this connection how you reflect in someone else this is how you're connecting here what is happening in happening here in the second house okay so i like the knight of pentacles in the second house because the second house is values money uh, self-esteem the knight of pentacles is when we're talking about money this is this means that someone will receive something here it's been a process with the knight of pentacles is some it's virgo energy by the way but it's something that is being prepared it has been worked again it's not something big but it's something that has been done for some time now worked for some time so for the ones here that are waiting for some type of financial um, coming in abundance here knight of pentacles brings that promise but also if you're dealing here with an earth sign especially a taurus they are being very cautious but this is someone you can trust they're not rushing in but they are taking their time here when it comes to the decision long term wise again this is someone you can count on when it comes to your money your possessions it's not a person that rushes though it's very methodical it's a well thought out process uh, again for the ones here that are thinking how their bank account is going uh, you know to be here uh, or are worried about the money i will say do not with that knight of pentacles all right so we have another knight and this is what surrounds you this is also your mind your communication your environment siblings uh, as well very close uh, relationships 
The Knight of Wands is very passionate. So if this is you, you are rushing into a new direction here. I keep thinking it has to do with this decision, Cancer, with the lovers here. You are charging in. You are someone that you have been waiting here. Knight of Wands, unlike this type of guy here, the Knight of Pentacles, is more about instinct. It's all about passion. So is this your mind or is this the person that you're communicating? There's a lot of fire. Now be careful because again, it can be a little bit hot and cold energy, Sagittarius, for some of you here. But there's going to be communication. There's going to be action. The third house is also the house of short trips. So some of you here may be moving forward uh, here or going to a short trip type of situation going on. All right. So at home, this belongs to you, the fourth house. Cancer. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles at home, I feel like some of you are waiting, patiently waiting for something. It can be regarding this money situation, but I see whatever you have been putting in is saying that still stand patient. Do not rush in when it comes to your situation at home. Uh, some of you will find delays. I don't find the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, it's Jupiter in Taurus. So everything has to have value. Everything that you put in it has to be rewarded with, with the Seven of Pentacles. So again, at home, I see you patiently working, still waiting, still investing here, but it's all about timing. It's figuring out what's the next step in that area of your life. Okay, so what's going on here in the Romance House? Children, uh, uh, this is very much uh, love affairs, um, dating. For the ones that are single, we will see what's coming in. All right, so there's communication, breakthrough. I, I like the Ace of Swords because I feel like for the ones that are waiting for communication or clarity from a romantic partner, this is it. It's to the point. It's clear cutting any type of uh, mixed messages here. So you're going to get communication for the ones that are waiting. Also, again, if you're dealing here with children, you are going to get a certain type of uh, success, a victory here. And I say this for the ones here that may be going through any type of legal matters here. But romantically, there's going to be some type of communication. It's not the most romantic, the Ace of Swords. It doesn't mean that it's not going to, there's, going to be, there's not going to be romance here. It just means that you are going to get clarity with the Ace of Swords. All right, so what's happening in your daily life, work, co-workers with this one, also how you take care of yourself, your health. Oh my goodness. So some of you are connecting with someone else. Virgo energy, by the way, uh, the sixth house. But some of you are finding uh, love here at work, a union, a perfect union. So I feel like this is, is it the same person here that you're dealing? So in your day-to-day -day routine, you are driven by romance. You are driven here by a perfect union. You, for some here, it doesn't have to be just romance. It can be that finally you find whatever the meaning is here that completes you when it comes to your job, when it comes to your occupation. But I have to say, because I have these lovers here, I feel like this is regarding someone here that occupies your mind, occupies here how you interact. It's just you and this other person, no one else here. And that is what is going on in your day-to-day -day routine. It's all about love, Cancer. All right, so let's look at your partnership house. Uh, Libra energy in the seventh house. Now, the partnership house... Maybe dealing for some of you with a marriage situation, a commitment, but also it can be about a business. It can come even to enemies with this house, just to let you know. The hangman. Okay, so someone is trying here to stay and look at different perspectives, different ideas. I don't see much in the commitment house. Who's waiting here? Who's suspending type of uh, situation? I always see also the hangman here as uh, sacrificing. It's very idealistic type of energy. It's the dreamer, it's Neptune energy. Some things are not clear here when it comes to your commitment house. You're trying to, you or someone that you are connecting with, trying to look at different ways, but at the moment there's no much happening, no action here in that house. Okay, so what's happening in the eighth house? This is 
for some for some here this is a very intense house the eighth house be because it belongs to scorpio but we are talking about very much that intimate level with you and someone else also if you are dealing with uh, shared resources regarding this knight of pentacles taxes inheritance money this is the house is the house of endings and new beginnings here all right so we are talking about five of wands there's tension here there's pride there's competition so it may be regarding this money here that you are thinking, again, whatever you're receiving or whatever is coming towards you, Five of Wands is talking about some type of um, competition. And as I said, it may be regarding an inheritance or something that you are waiting, expecting for it to come through. So what is happening long distance from you? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Also, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, they have love, they have emotions, a new love, a new beginning. Some of you here will find love far from here, from, from where you are. The ninth house is very much different cultures, different religious, uh, different country. So for the ones here that do not have a particular person, which again, the two of cups and the ace of cups, I feel like some of you already know here who the person is, but we will clarify in the extended here more. It looks though, again, some of you may find a new love, even when it comes to spirituality, even when it comes to higher education, Again, you are going to find abundance away from where you are. Cancer, it's, it's a new beginning for you there. So what is happening in the 10th house? This is your career. This is your reputation. This is your accomplishments. This is your success. Okay, so you're leaving something behind here with the Eight of Cups. You're moving in a new direction. It's interesting because uh, we have the two of cups in your occupation. So as you are finding this union, what are you going to turn your back here? Now, the eight of cups, though there are certain options here that you're leaving behind, you are going towards that ace of cups. You are going towards that nine of cups, that wish fulfillment, that particular cup. So you're leaving all the other cups here, which means all other possibilities. You learned from them what was to be learned. You took, you know, those lessons, but there's only one destiny here. or There's only one feeling that you, you want to pursue. Also, if you're dealing with the Capricorn energy here, there's a certain sense of sobering up and going after that wish fulfillment. It requires, again, a certain type of letting go here, what was in the past. So turning your back in a new direction. Change of career, change of possibilities, change of who you want to be and how you want people to see you when it comes to your accomplishment. Not just to your part here, your identity, your ego with, with the lovers. Which again, I feel like this decision here that you have to make, it, it can very well be regarding your job here, regarding this connection here, your day to day. And of course, how much you are going to invest here when it comes to your home situation. You are having a kind of uh, struggle here when it comes to your shared resources, when it comes to intimacy. Again, some of you may be feeling because there's this hangman in the seventh house in your relationship or what you're looking in a commitment. You are struggling here to find that balance. Okay, so what is happening in the 11th house? This is social media, friendship, platonic friendship here, but also the visions for the future. Whatever you are leaving here behind is going to influence this. And we are talking about page of wands, which is good news. So for, for the ones here that even are looking to date um, uh, or to find love through social media, this is good news. I find it though very flirtatious. It's nothing serious, it's just kind of um, adventurous, playful, uh, fun type of energy. This is also, again, you hearing from a friend with the Page of Wands. Very, very happy though. I, I like the Page of Wands in the 11th house. You're going towards a new direction, a fun direction here. You are exploring. This may be, again, as I mentioned, a friend that is interesting uh, in reaching out. Very social media interaction. What is happening behind doors here? What is going on? The Queen of Wands, is this you or the woman here? Or it doesn't have to be whatever the relationship you are in. But I like the, the Queen of Wands because I, I'm talking about passion with the Queen of Wands. I'm talking about this attractive energy. Uh, we're talking about the social type of queen here. It's all about passion and instinct. Sagittarius, um, 
it can be Aries or Leo. It doesn't have to be though. Behind closed doors here, or what you need to know is happening. This is the secret house, the soulmate's house, uh, Piscean energy, by the way. So I like the Queen of Wands. This is someone that is driven by their passions and their desires. This may be you again or the person that you are connecting, but it's very interesting that we started here with the lovers and we closed here. So this is yourself and this is your inner self or again, subconsciously, telepathically here, what is happening behind closed door. And we are talking about a strong connection. It's all about love and desires here. As you at the same time trying to put yourself in the map here, what do you want to do? What is your social status? What is your reputation as well here? Okay, so what is going on with that justice card? Okay, burden. You are relieving a burden with the Ten of Wands. I think Taurus had the same uh, card here. It's good. I like the justice and ten of wands is completion. Whatever I feel like maybe you have taken here more than you can handle cancer. And finally, uh, again, justice is bringing that fairness, that balance in your life. There's no more carrying this burden. There's no more feeling responsible. This may be also that someone feels guilty as well here and trying to make amends with that justice card. Okay, guys, so overall, I feel like you have a very good reading for May 2020. You are going to make a decision here that it's influencing your identity and how you connect with this person, with the hangman here in the seventh house. Again, uh, some of you here, I feel like are going to find love long distance from you, but not each house may resonate here. Others already are, they know who this person is. It, it kind of... Uh, it's every day that you have this energy with, with the six house. It, you're embarking on this new journey also when it comes to a work relationship here. So I'll say some of you may be finding love um, at work. I really hope this does resonate with you guys. I'm going to go ahead in the extended reading and just clarify a few of the cards here for those that actually do resonate with this reading and would like to purchase the extended. And thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.